What's going on guys and welcome, welcome your faces to Heat Death, a sci-fi survival game where you can build, upgrade and customise your battle train to explore and survive a frozen world. This train is not only your shelter and vehicle, but also your weapon and ally to face hostile drones, deadly storms and hidden mysteries of an unknown world. So welcome, let's jump into this. And remember, if you enjoy the content, remember to like, subscribe, and also leave a comment, even if it's just a bloody emoji. But let's check out this demo that's currently available on Steam. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check it out. Log entry. I woke up in a lab, hooked up to machines and wires, not knowing who I am or where I am. The lab was silent and empty. I stumbled out of a building into a frozen wasteland. No life, no warmth, no hope. Just snow and rocks. There is a train track. The only thing that seems to lead somewhere. Could it take me to civilization or at least to some answers? I'll follow these train tracks for now. So, basic movement. Understanding. So hopefully you're doing well, guys, and welcome, like I said, to Heat Death. A game that slowly crept up on my recommended on Steam. And I have a feeling I am going to enjoy the living crap out of this. Your stats. You can monitor your stats using the bars in the bottom left hand corner of your screen. First bar shows your health, second bar shows your stamina, and the third one shows your suit's power. And the reason I'm going to enjoy this is because right now there is not many games like this. And it does kind of remind me of the Subnautica genre, the survival, where we have to build our base, which is going to be our locomotive, our train. And we can kind of see, I love these kind of futures. And there's like, there's a halo going across the planet as well. So, um, you can kind of see like islands on that, it seems, um, which is kind of cool. And I'm, I'm just curious about the lore uh, and all that good stuff. So we are heading to this compound right now and I want to see what's going on over here. And hopefully we can find some data log entries to find out more about what is happening on this planet. And I'm hopefully you guys are excited to find out as well because I'm intrigued. Power systems. Each city has its own power system. You need to activate power generators and batteries. Then you can turn the power on. You can find all of them inside the control center building. Okay. So we have to go and restore the power. Turn on the power cells, turn on the power generator and turn the power on. Okay, so obviously we don't have a train yet. There is a station here. I'm just wondering if we have to build some form of our first locomotive, our engine maybe. Uh, and then we can start moving. Are these plants collectible? They are. Shadow Breeze. The visuals look really good. Like we are on max 4K settings. Um, there is lumen in this, so. Okay, T to turn your flashlight on. Okay, so we've got one system in here. Let's turn this on. Control panels. You can interact with some control panels. To do that, simply get close to them and use your mouse to select any key on the screen, then use interact. Okay. Got it. Okay, so it's just straight touch panels. Good to know. I do like it when we have them kind of panels. What's over here? It's just another way out. Yes. Let's head upstairs and let's head to this one over here. These solar panels, literally facing the sun as well. Status, estate online production, 600 per minute. Generators. I wonder if we get to build these kind of cities or are they just kind of like POIs? And here's our other one. Turn this one on. Saving the game. You can save the game using the body scanner. You'll find them inside stations and some of the buildings. Got it. Here we go. Can I just walk into this? Save the game. So there is no auto save feature, so we do have to use these. So I'm guessing we could be we'll, like we'll be able to build these in our train. I really love these designs of these uh, buildings. Find the train, new home. So I don't know how long this demo is. All I know is, like I said, it's available on Steam. This is not sponsored. Uh, or anything like this. I saw it on my recommended. And I was like, this looks straight up my alley. So I'm guessing it's going to be in here. Number 73 station. 
Is it either me or I'm starting to walk slower and slower and slower? We can see my stamina going down and when I stop it kind of still goes down. Oh no, my, no my, I'm looking at the wrong one. Here we go. Train. This is your train. Right now it's just a few empty wagons but you'll be able to build whatever you need on it. Your train needs at least one engine to start moving. To build an engine first, you need to learn what resource it requires. Find three blueprint tablets to learn about building engines. Okay. What's this? Tech scrap. Unlock blueprint. So we've got one out of three there. Small battery chargers. You can, char uh, you can charge use small batteries using this charger. Use small station required. Okay, we've got a save point here as well. We've got a couple of chests, a couple of items. Take all of these. That's just one storage container. Craft. Oh, smart material. Smart material can, can be casted into different forms, thus very useful for advanced prints. Screen. This resource is useful for building and crafting. Mechanical parts. This resource is useful for building and crafting. Small batteries. Portable battery that contains 50 power. Use it to charge your suit. And tech scrap. Tech scraps are not easy to craft. They are very useful for building advanced components. Okay, so we've got crafting tables. Unlock ceiling. Oh, that's cool. I do believe this could be running on Unreal Engine 5. I could be entirely wrong. Oh, another blueprint. So that's two. We just need to find one more. What's this? Smart material. There's nothing around here. More smart material. There is a screen over here. I don't know if this is just to uh, unlock the door. It is. That's to unlock the gate. We'll leave that for now. GDS. Humanity's last stop. It says humanity, but we're not seeing any form of life. And there is like a radar up there. Is it showing where we are? Is this is this us right here? Because I feel like this is where we might have spawned where we started and walked down here. I don't know how big the map is. I don't think I have a map. Inventory. It does seem like I do need to eat. Because um, my energy down below is pretty, pretty low right now more material I love how these glow we can't open them here's the third blueprint resource and inventories tab to build anything you need resources you can find these resources scattered around and inside chests you can view resources that you have got in your inventory yep oh engine component so we don't have any data logs. We've got none to be found yet. So we need to build an engine. Do I have to do that via the crafting bench over here? I would think so, right? Oh, build menu. You can only start building on your train using the B key. Then select any component you want to build. The first of the items you can build will increase as, uh, as you learn how to build new components. Okay, so build. So we want to build an engine, right? Uh, locomotive. Engine tier 1. So we need this. Oh, and we can place this wherever we want to right now. So I'm kind of feeling like let's put it to the side. I don't, we don't have any form of walls right now, so I guess we'll just stick this here. Can I place? Not enough suit power to print. I've got no power in my suit. How do I get more power? Oh! Do I need some more batteries? Use small battery requirement. Can I go into... Wait, crafting. Let me see if I can make a battery. Um, Small battery. Here we go. Fabricating. 29 seconds. Because obviously I don't have any right now, right? And we do have a weight system down here. 18.5 out of 30. So this is going to take some time. I think it took 30 seconds. 
14 seconds remaining. All right, get item. So is there a way I can use? There we go. So it gives us 50% of the uh, of our suit power here. So I'm guessing we also place some of these on our train. Engine control panel. You need engine control panel to start engines and uh, control your train. Got it. Fabricate and crafting. You can craft resource examples, smart material and items, batteries, which we've just done using fabricators. You'll find them inside stations. Also, you'll be able to build fabricators on your train too. Ooh, fancy. So now we've got an engine. Um, we should be able to charge our battery here, right? So let's, there we go. Yeah, 60 seconds to charge. So that's pretty cool. Obviously, we'll be able to get larger batteries and all that kind of good stuff. Um, but we'll, we'll charge that just now. We are Maybe I should make a second one. So we've always got one charging, one being utilized, maybe, uh, if we have the materials. We don't, because we don't have any smart materials. Uh, can I make smart materials? We can. So let's make some of them. Make one more battery. And then I'm just wondering if we need to search the other buildings as well that's around us to make sure there's any materials that we can round up. So this was going to take 60 seconds, right? Yeah, 15 seconds remaining on that. We've also got a couple of seconds remaining on this one. All right, let's grab this battery. Five seconds. Four, three, two... One. Use. Okay. So it still goes down pretty fast. But we've now got a second one. But what we need is we need to craft a screen. So let's have a look at this. Engine power screen. Is this the one we need? Use the panel to view the power status of the train or engine screen to control all engines within your train. We need one smart material and one screen. So let's make a smart material. Uh, smart material. Uh, and I've saw a screen underneath that as well. So this one's going to take 10 seconds. And then there's a screen just under this. Get done. And one screen, which we need tech scrap. And to get tech scrap, we need use small batteries. God damn it. I need tech scrap. So, we do need to have a bit more of a a look around to get this. Because we need more tech scrap and we need use small batteries. Eesh. Right, let's have a look around. Let's grab this other battery out of here. It's good to remember the second one, right? Actually, no, we didn't, did we? Inventory. We can't charge two at a time, right? No. So that's still charging. Right, let's have a look around at these other buildings to see if there's anything we can scrounge up within these. So we have a habitat building over there. This is a workstation. I do actually walk slower. I don't know if it's just because of the snow or, or anything like that, but... Let's have a look. Anything in here? What's this? Dynamo, one out of three blueprints. Oh, we've got a small battery there. Beautiful. So it needs to be a consumed battery we need. Let's have a look at this habitat building. Over this way. We don't... Oh, there's a building up there as well, hidden between them rocks. <gasps> oh. That's a drone. I'm going to guess he's going to be hostile. But he's heading up to that station up there. Where's the entrance to this? It's going to be around this side, isn't it? We've already been in the control center. Let's grab more of these. Oh. Oh, here we go. Supplies. What's this? Okay, not collectible. Energy drink. Lights. Turn off the lights in the building. Raj, the ranger. 
Biogens. Use the Biogen to craft energy drinks, foods, and first aid kits. Okay. We've also got something here. Log entry. Tomorrow is the day. We're leaving this place for good, but I have to admit, I'm feeling a bit nervous. It's not going to be a walk in the park. We still have a long way to go. We have no idea what's out there and what threats we'll face. We'll have to be ready for anything. It's especially going to be tough for me and Mia. We're the ones who have to watch over others. I doubt I'll be able to sleep, will I? So we know there's somebody called Mia, but I don't know who this is. Oh, Raj. I mean, it's, obviously, it's his room, right? We can't do anything else. So Raj and Mia. We've got another energy drink here. Nothing we can do with these computers. Can't ch check the uh, trash. Lena's office. Nothing in here, except a small battery. A new home, a new hope. Sarah, engineer. There's nothing here. Oh, screwdriver. Toolbox. Tech scrap. We, we need that. We need one more of them, don't we? And then Kai, the researcher. He's also got a blueprint here. So that's two out of three. And then storage. Okay. Materials. We'll take them. And one smart material. I'm just wondering where this third... Um, this third blueprint might be. Maybe it's in the uh, building across from us. And this is where we can make food, right? Energy restores up to 30% of your stamina, which we've technically just lost. I feel like there's two of the blueprints in here. Have I missed one? If I have, one of you guys will mention it in the comments, but we can't really miss them because of how luminescent they are. So let's head out of this building, check the one out in front of us, and see what it is. We can... Can we climb this? There's something up there. I don't know if it's just the light for... The hell, these ladders are massive. Okay, we kind of like... Jump up them. Good to know. No climbing animation. Some more materials. Another layer. Oh, so the light is just for that. At least we got the materials though. Climb back down again. I'm good with that. Some extra materials. Won't mind. We can't grab it from there. So. There, there's a blueprint in here. Workstation. Oh, I did miss it. Dynamo. Wait, I did come in here before, didn't I? I did come in here before. I must have missed that. Is the door on this side? Or is it on the opposite side? So I'm very interested to see how big this world is. We're now in Habitat 2. We've got more batteries. Here's Mia's office. She's a ranger. Log entry. Things have been pretty peaceful lately, which is a rare thing in this world. It means we're not in consistent danger of being attacked by drones or other threats. But sometimes it also means we're not having any action or excitement. All I've been doing for the past few months is patrolling the lakeside for any signs of danger and then returning back to the outpost. It's the same routine over and over again, and it's getting dull. Maybe I'm being too impatient. Maybe I'm just used to all these amazing fights and missions I've had before. Maybe I should just be thankful for what I have, instead of wishing for what I don't. Maybe I should enjoy the peace while it lasts. Because who knows what might happen next. But I can't help it. I'm a ranger after all. I live for adventure, for combat and for thrill. Hmm. Okay. So that's Mia. She loves the excitement. Icicle ammo. Ooh. It's the first time one of these have been 
collectible. Eva, she's a medic. So maybe medical supplies in here. That'd be nice. A little health kit. Oxygen tank. Maybe not. More food. Uh, Ali, researcher. Another blueprint. Which is for icicle, which I'm guessing is for the icicle recipe. It's not the icicle ammo, but to make icicles, excuse me. And then we've got in here some more tech scrap. Can't check them. Even though I know we can't check it, I'm still checking it anyway, just in case it is going to be something we can grab. Oh, what's this? Oh, material. Oh, inventory capacity full. Okay, let's let's drink that. Oh, can we take two more? Use this plant to craft energy drinks. Energy drinks is one kilogram. We've got six of them, so these are 0 0.5 weight each. Icicle, ammo, tech scrap. And we've got that other battery, haven't we? That's being um, created, well, being charged, I should say. Okay, let's head back to the train station. If I need more materials, at least I know where to come and get them. But I'm super curious about, like, this. This ring, it kind of looks like a the start of a Dyson sphere. Right? But it does look like there's land on it, like islands and stuff. Kind of reminds me of, like, Halo. I've already been into there. This is kind of... Oh, I've got a battery I can use. Use small battery, small battery, use. Use two of them. And I should be able to make this screen now, right? Uh, which is in the... Which is in here. So let's make a screen. I don't know if, how much this is going to weigh. And hopefully we can... Uh, use it. Let's take this battery out of here I put in there. And let's put it in a... An empty one. We are get item. We go back over to the train now. We want to build a screen. Um, locomotive. Engine screen. Just wondering, let's put this at the front here. I feel like this is... This is going to be the one that drives us, right? So let's... Throw that in the middle. Power control panel. Your train has a limited amount of power to monitor it. You should build a power control panel. Okay. I'm kind of leaving a little bit of room here, just like walls and stuff. Um, turn engine on, forward. I think that's neutral. See the throttle velocity, the mass state is currently breaking. Uh, but what we need to build now is... Oh yeah, there is walls here. Wall corner. Well, I don't know why I didn't even look at them. Locomotive. So we need a power screen. So we need to build another screen. And we need more smart materials. So we need more one more smart material. Uh, which is this. I'm going to grab this battery. I think it might be done. And I'm going to get that one being charged. So I think we might be out of here in any second. So now we've got that, we want to build a engine screen, screen, architecture, or is it others? Whoa, chest, body scanner, outdoor lighting, indoor lighting, unlocking the full version of the game, which is the fabricator. Dynamo. Dy Dynamo is a manual power generator for a train. Okay, looks like we might have to make one of them. I need I need a screen. Need a screen. Which we have enough for. Is this battery ready? Charging three, two, one. Let's get that. And now we should be able to make this power. Locomotive. Oh no, I need smart material. 
one smart material coming up. Five, four, three, two, one. And then we go to locomotive engine screen. I need power. So let me take a small battery, utilize that. Locomotive power screen. So I'm thinking we just stick this at the side of that one. Walls, windows, and ceilings. Walls, windows, and ceilings keep you warm. Build them on your train to survive the storms. Okay. Walls and windows orientations. Walls have two sides, white and dark. The white side should face the inside of your train when building. Make sure the arrow points towards the inside. Okay. So we have a power screen here now. So we want to build walls. And this requires two. So we want the arrow to face the inside. So we'll put a wall there. Wall there. I'm just going to make like a small little cube right now. I don't know if the... It's going to get damaged. Oh, I don't have enough material. I would like a, a window out the front. So there is wall corners as well. Windows. You're going to require power. We need more material. Build a window. I don't think I'm going to have... I don't, I don't have enough. We need to go... And do some more scavenging. We do we do know we have that material. Um let's charge that back to full. We've got two batteries down now, so we need two more walls. A window. I don't know how big these windows are though. As they're window corners. We've got flooring, floor corners, ceiling edge. We need a lot of material right now. Can I? Can I start this? Okay, so I just turned the engine on. Turn on indoor lights. Let's just turn all them off because I don't know if that's just going to consume power because right now we're on 462 power. Oh, the engine was on. So when it's hovering, it's on. Okay. So that's stop. That's to slow the velocity down. So let's turn that off then. Because we, wa we was losing power. It just went down again. Let's grab these from here. Put in another one. Um, I feel like we need a chest of some sort. Let's go into here. Let's store all of these. Let's keep the batteries on us. Keep them. Let's store them in there. Just so I've got some available weight. And let's have a look at some of these other bases. Is that one where the drone was heading to up there? There he is again. We got these up, these two over here as well. These like little gate houses. There has to be something in that one up there. Scrapper. Scrapper is a friendly drone that finds scraps around the map and turns them into materials. If you follow them, you might discover new places or find more material. Oh, so he is friendly. So he just sits in here. Oh my god, here we go. He has been grabbing... Oh, that's, that's what we need. But I still do want to go and visit up there to find out what's going on. Got some more storage in here. More smart material. More material in here. Can't take any more because our capacity is full right now. But he's coming back now. Probably going to store something else. So I wonder if he's been going up and down there since I've been... At this uh, city, as they call it. Alright, so let's get the battery out of there. Oh, I don't have enough room. So what was it I needed to make for these walls? It was... Oh, I just needed materials just in general. Okay, good to know. So let's just kind of put you there. Now 
Not enough suit power. Where's my batteries? Use. I might as well just use two, right? To get to uh, to 100%. Um, and then go back into here. Build. Build. Can I put a curve? Okay, I need to push this back. Can I edit this? Or remove others locomotive architecture i don't see a way we can do that just yet z x z v oh yes yeah, scrap okay so we can scrap so we do get the materials back as well okay good to know so what i want to do here is i want to go for a window corner instead and i kind of want to put that there and then i want to put a wall put that there and then we're going to put you there. And then we're going to grab ourselves a a door. Uh, put you there. And then we want to scrap this one, right? So we click in V mode, which is scrap, scrap, scrap. And then we're going to grab ourselves a wall. Not enough suit power. Oh my god, you got through so much suit power. Let's grab this battery. And put another one in there. And then take... We've got one more battery left. I am kind of leaving the uh, engine exposed here to possible damage. But right now, I don't know if I'm going to have, you know, enough... Mich uh, enough... Um Train engineer, congratulations, you are now a train engineer. Customize your trains, your liking, and discover new parts as you explore the frozen world. Okay, I feel like that's the tutorial kind of over with. I'm going to put a wall there, window corner. And I want to put a window here as well, just like that. Okay, we have that, so we need to look into ceiling. Um, so ceiling corner. Put that there. Just want to make sure the round piece is at that bit. And then we just need ceiling edge. Make sure that face is inwards, right? The arrow face is inside. Oh, I don't have enough power again. Utilize that. That. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ceiling corner. That's a bit... Did I use the wrong one here? Did I use a floor corner over there? I feel like I need to extend these out a little bit. Because that's a piece, that's a piece. Seems like it. Ceiling edge. Not enough material. Let's head back out to the uh, machine. Let's open the gate here. Easier for us to uh, to grab supplies from here. Has he dropped anything off? Oh, he has. He's got three. Is he coming back? Oh, Jesus. Hi. Made me jump a little bit there. But there was some more in here, wasn't there? Just like that. So what I want to do now is make sure we get that ceiling complete. I want to head up to that little station up there. See what's up there. There could be some blueprints. Come back down here. And then maybe take our train for a little ride. But we don't have any form of defense. No, that's a window bits. That's a window. Would like would be nice to have at least one light in here, maybe some storage. So uh, we need some more power. So more than likely, this is going to be charged now. Put a new battery in here, um, and then we want to uh, small battery use. Then we want to go into build mode and make sure we put a. Ceiling edge. I'm going to do an edge and not a corner just because I'll have to remove this piece. 
when it comes to building a new when we extend so we have a bit of a lip on this side which is okay um but at least now we are fully covered in this room which is what we wanted uh, power wise uh penual a, a manual power generator which we don't have any of the materials uh defense and icicle light carrying effective against enemies with medium armor um a chest need some more materials and smart materials um so i think let's take a drink of uh, the energy drink right there um i did store a lot of my supplies in here did, didn't i when i was building them where did i put them into this right build that small battery um let's just leave the them right now how long's left on this pretty good i'm already out of battery again used more battery we've got five used we're going through these so fast so now let's head up to this compound up here this little these buildings and see what's going on up there okay we're approaching this it seems like we've got three buildings uh it's a workstation what's this hello friendly oh we have a log report log entry this constant daylight is torture yes i can darken the windows but it's not the same it's still artificial unnatural and annoying we don't have the luxury of day and night cycle here but we have to endure it it's ironic really we're living on a frozen planet but we're stuck on the side that's always facing the glint we're surrounded by ice and snow but we're also exposed to the glint's constant light we're freezing it and our eyes are burning at the same time interesting so there is no day and night cycle but we heard the word glint which is that what they're calling the sun um i guess um but nothing else in here what's this is this what he's going up here to grab i feel like that's where he's going up to to like scrap stuff we've also got a storage here oh my torch has run out which means i've run out of battery materials but I suppose it's my own fault, right? Just realizing now I'm walking around with my torch on, which is consuming my battery, right? So <laughs> that's a big problem in my house. More, more than likely, one of you has commented, Bids, turn your torch off. You walk around with your torch on, and that's why you're consuming your battery. Yep, I've just realized. Okay, what have we got in here? Energy drink. Um, nothing over here. It is a unique building style. Very simple, but effective. No more log reports in here. No more blueprints. Okay. Seems like we are done. I would like to build a storage, possibly, before we take off uh, onto our ship so we can grab as much as we can from here to take with us. Um, there's a couple of plants that I'm going to pick up on the way down. I didn't want to pick them up on the way up just because um, I didn't know what I was going to collect here and I might not have enough in inventory space. So let's grab these. The only the only way one at 0 0.5. Then we'll head back into this machine, grab any more materials. This guy's dropping us for us. And then we'll, uh, I guess we'll take off. All right, let's head in here. It's got five for us. Let's take them, head back inside here, get more batteries being charged because guess what? I'm out again. Let's get in here, grab another battery, put another one in, utilize another battery. Get two of them used. Head in here. I'm just wondering, you know, if to uh, remove that wall, go into build mode and put a window there. like that so we can kind of you know see around us a little bit we can open the door in case we want to look at the back uh right so next let's have a look into storage which we need one smart material 
which we should be able to should be able to do. Uh, one smart material which is being made. Uh, take these plants here. Grab you out of here. In insufficient bloody hell. Um, we'll just store them. Grab that. Go into here, and then others. One chest. I'm guessing it goes that way. Just place you down. Is there where we can place a uh, a light? Uh, resources unknown, so we don't have the blueprint for that. Don't have the blueprint for that. Uh, we do have to look into this dynamo as well. Mechanical parts, smart material, and tech scrap. Because the it will run out, right? The uh... let's put all these in here. Put all the materials in here. Um. I would like to get the, all these batteries done. I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to quickly skip. You're going to see a quick skip right now. And I'm going to wait for all of these batteries to be uh, recharged before I take off from here. So I'll be back momentarily. Right, so I've got all my batteries all charged. So I believe we might be ready to get going here. So I want to make sure... We've got seven batteries ready to go. Let's store these plants. The doors are open. The world is our oyster. And let's get going here. I don't think we need to turn any of these off. Oh, our power's recharged. Is that because we're at a station? Maybe. Okay, good to know. So let's turn the engine on. And then let's head out of here. So, I'm just going to put the throttle at 1. And that's a good little steady pace. Oh, wait. Are we... Are we... Yeah, we are picking up speed. See our velocity going up. Oh, is it going up in 50 increments, maybe? So, is this going to go to 100 next? We're going to keep an eye on our power here. Oh, this is draining fast. Okay. That is draining extremely fast. So I would say maybe we've got 30 seconds of power. Maybe we've already gone through 100 power right now. So hopefully we come across another settlement here. We are going uphill. So I'm just wondering... Oh, storm and weather forecast. A storm is forming. The temperature will drop significantly. During storms, it's better to be indoors. Also, you can check the forecast inside the control center's main room. Okay, we are we are sealed in here. There is another building over there, so we can let's go and check out them. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to charge over there, but if we can get a manual generator from the blueprint here, uh, which is the dynamo, we need mechan two mechanical parts, two smart material, and one tech scrap. So hopefully there's a fabricator over here. If not, um, we're not going to have enough juice to get back to the, uh, the town we're just in, but. Let's speed up here. We're not seeing any form of enemies right now as well. We don't have a blueprint for it, so... Oh, there's some more buildings up there also. Yeah, we definitely need to... Uh, get some power. We need the manual generator, but I'm wondering what that's going to take, the dynamo. So we have one, two, three. There's a solar panel over there. Is this a station? Is there a station building around the corner? Doesn't seem like it. Well, let's... Uh, slow down here. There is a station, but not one we can actually go into. Just kind of... Roll along a little bit. The storm is here as well. Let's turn the power off. Let's get into one of these buildings. Got as much supplies as we can. If we can make another chest, that'd be great. Oh, there's a fabricator in here. Perfect. 
So we want more materials. There's six of them in there. Got more fabricators here. We've got also a new blueprint. Body scanner, so we can save it. Actually, that's a good point. Let's get this saved right now because we have done quite a little bit and we've been playing for what 50 minutes i don't know how long this current recording is we do have some energy drinks there if we need to actually we may as well make them right which will consume the uh the plant oh it's going to use materials though i don't really want to use the materials right now because there's no way of us to maybe uh farm some so the storm actually lowers our speed Oh, whoa, some like weird red gates in the distance. Do you see that? Storage. Oh, I'm freezing. Okay, let's get our torch back on. Materials. Take more of these. I should have checked if... Uh, 23 out of 30 right now. Let's head back into this train station. Just to see... If I can make mechanical parts. Can I make... I can make mechanical parts. I need two smart materials. So let's make two of these. Let's get them going in two different machines. Pull these out. Make mechanical parts. Just so we can get the engine up and running. Just so we can travel further distance. I don't know if the dynamo is going to require uh, some form of material. Um, maybe the plants to burn. Let's make some mechanical parts. And in doing so, uh, we also need two smart materials. So let's get two of them going. So this is our mechanical parts. I think we need two of this, to be honest. Uh, let's make some more smart material. Grab that. Um... What was it? The power dynamo? Yeah, we need two mechanical parts. So I need two more smart material. We can now get the mechanical parts in this. So that's two. Then we need to get one more smart material after this one. Which I need more materials. Which there's plenty of houses around here and uh, buildings. This storm is getting pretty heavy now as well. Right, so now we've got that. Uh, the power of the dynamo. We also need tech scrap, which is... We need two used small batteries. So if I just go into my... Oh, wrong tab. Small battery. Just you use two of them. Then I can make some tech scrap. Is there a place we can charge batteries in here? Oh. Oh, there's some... T oh, my God. That was a waste of... Uh, batteries, wasn't it? Well, I think we had more than what we needed. There might be some more in another building. Um, okay, so we've got them items. So all we need now is just some more materials so I can make some more smart scrap. And I don't think there's any in there. Let's quickly check... Anna, the ranger's office here. I think the storm is going. It's getting lighter. Yes, there is some. Charges there open. Oh, canned soup. Uh, let's eat that, in fact. Just because of our... Energy was like 50%. Another chest here. First head kit. We'll take that. We'll definitely keep that that on us uh, at all times. And we've got another data log as well. I've received a message from Lena today. She said that the train is on its way and will arrive tomorrow. They'll pick me up around 6, so I should be ready to leave by then. Yesterday I encountered a few scout drones. I took them out, but I don't think they've been wandering around here by themselves. We should be careful. Okay. Scout drones. Is that a... That might be a friend. Icicle ammo, more of it. Obviously, we'll take that. We don't have any form of weapon at the minute. Um, can't do that. Let's actually just... Small battery use. Turn my torch off. Put that in there. And head out. 
Let's go in here. This guy's definitely going to have a lot of materials in here. But she mentioned about scout drones. And there is some, like, doors over there that we might have to cross. So I don't know if that's a checkpoint. Six material in here. We've already checked that storage. But there is a couple of buildings up there. The storm has passed, so we should be able to check them now as well. So let me just double check here. We've got two smart material. Can I... Can I build this right now? No, I need smart material. I think I just need this one more. And I can place this down. We can see then what we can consume or do with this dynamo. Nice. So I sh we should be able to build it now. Um, power. Oh, no, I need one more smart material. Wait, did I not collect it? I didn't. Power. There we go. We can now build it. So let's put this down on our locomotive. I'm just wondering if I scrap this. Okay, so we, we do get the resources back. I thought we might. Um, we might not. So this is a dynamo. Let's put this next to the door. Or does it need to be attached to this? No? Okay, we'll just put this here. Let's just have a look at this. Ah! like a combo thing that's pretty cool so the more you keep it in the green the more power will get so i'm just wondering can i put you on the inside because that'll be uh beneficial to us right because we can close this and we can train power is full beautiful but let's go into here we've got oh, one more thing left can i make another chest uh others chest i need one more smart but at least we're back to uh full now let's get some more smart material we'll grab that put a storage down and then we'll go and see what we can get from them buildings up there uh, in case there's any new blueprints because we did just unlock a uh, a new style of blueprint which was the uh i forgot what it was now so let's go into build mode. Let's go into others. Build another chest. Oh, can I stack this? Oh, let's just put that there. Like so. And then article ammo, energy drinks. Energy's full. Small batteries. Uh, tech scrap. Uh, let's store that. Let's store the article ammo. They take 0 0.5 kilograms. Where was the... Was it in here? It was. Okay. Let's get the battery up and running. Let's head up here now and see what's in these buildings. Okay. So workstation. There is a blueprint, which is for the body scanner. Body scanner, small battery. We will take that. Uh, just to double check, there's nothing else in here. Another solar panel. A storage building here. I can't sprint right now. Eh. Okay. What's this? Smart material. Beautiful. Storage container with eight material in it. Perfect. I want to grab, um, before we take off again, I do want to make sure that there is some material. Grab the material from that storage drone before we take off, because otherwise it would be a waste. Now that we have this second storage. Right, let's head back into the train. Let's start dumping off materials. Is there anything I can build before we leave here? Uh, stirs, locomotive, engine screen, power screen, uh, the dynamo defense, can't build icicle turrets yet. We've got a chest, so let's just kind of just store what we need. This one is full, um, so we have 12. Let's take out these plants from in here, uh, and let's also put a our materials in here, just like 
that. Oh, I might actually run out. Let's take them out. Store the materials in there. So we've got 20 materials. And here, tech scrap, smart materials, and shadow breeze. First aid kit, energy drinks, a small battery, first aid kit. And I've got a battery which is currently being charged in here. So let's grab that. And I think we are ready to take off. So let me quickly save before we go. Slot one, confirm. Beautiful. So what I'm going to do is before we take off from here, we're going to end this here. So check out my other content right here. And if you want to see more, please let me know in the comments. Uh, because I'm very, very interested in this game and it looks like it's got a lot of potential and see where this game's going to take us into in the future. It's obviously still in development, but expected to be released in 2024. So thank you so much for watching. And as always, keep bloody smiling.